In this video, we're going to be applying Kirchhoff's laws to solve circuit problems involving parallel circuits. So before we do that, let's just review what are Kirchhoff's two laws, and um, that will help us solve these problems. So the first law, if you remember, the current into this thing, when current splits into two directions, that's called the junction. The current into a junction is equal to the current out of a junction. So 15 amps is equal to 5 amps plus 10 amps. So we can use it. We can look at it in terms of symbols. Here we have I1. Here's a junction. I1 is going to be equal to I2 plus I3 plus I4. The second law is the sum of the voltages around any closed loop is zero. So when we think of voltage, we think of joules per coulomb. So when we were doing our, our pretzel demonstration, we picked up 14 pretzels at the battery. 14 pretzels per person. So you picked up 14 pretzels, and then as you're walking, by the time I get back to the battery, I need to have no more pretzels left. Meaning I dropped off seven pretzels here, and you can drop off seven pretzels here if they were identical resistors. If they weren't identical resistors, you could drop off, for example, 10 and 4, depending on the resistances. So we'd have to do some calculations to find that. But the key concept is if I pick up 14, I've got to drop off all 14 by the time I get back to my battery. So let's try to apply these along with Ohm's law. which is V is equal to IR to solve for some unknowns. So right off the bat, let's see. We've got a 9 volt battery. We can apply the first law, the second law, or Ohm's law to figure out this problem. So you might be looking at this and saying, OK, here I have three resistances, so I can find the total resistance. Yes, you can do this. This is, this is allowed. Um, another way you can start is looking at this and saying, this is 9 volts. So if I take this path, there's three paths to get back to the battery. Path number 1, path number 2, path number 3. Now let's just visualize yourself walking along this. You pick up 9, it's 9 volts, so it's 9 joules per coulomb. So you pick up 9 pretzels of the battery. And you're walking, walking, walking. The only resistor you would pass is R1. And then you go back to the battery. So I have to, if I picked up nine pretzels at the battery, I would have to drop off all nine at that first battery. So when you think voltage, think pretzels. So I could say, I picked up 9 at the battery. Because this is parallel, I'm going to drop off 9 in R1. Now, you can make that same argument if you took a different path. right? Let's just take this path, for example. OK, I picked up 9 pretzels at the battery. I've got to drop off all 9 pretzels at R2. So right now, we're applying, we're applying the second law. The sum of the voltages around any closed loop is 0. Uh, and likewise, for the third one, we can say the exact same thing. So now I'm looking at this, and I can use V is equal to IR, V is equal to IR for all three of this. Whenever we know two of the variables, we can always find the third one. So V is equal to IR. We've got 9 volts is equal to current times 3 ohms. We can find current. It's got to be equal to 3 amps. It's the same calculation for all three of these. OK, now we've got to figure out something over here. So we could find the total resistance. So one way we could do this is say 1 all over R total is equal to 1 all over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And then we go ahead and solve. Another way we can do this is applying, applying one of one of Kirchhoff's laws. So if I want to know something about current, I need to apply the first law. 
voltage is the second law, current's the first law. So the current law says the current going into a junction is equal to the current going out of a junction. So in this, we have, coming out of the battery, we would have, well, we're not sure. We're not sure what the total voltage coming out of the battery is. But some of the voltage, or some of the current, pardon, some of the current is going to go one way, some of the current is going to go the other way, some of the current is going to go the third way. So think of this as like cars down a highway. So voltage, think pretzels, current, think cars. So if I have not, oh, we, we're not sure how many comes out of battery, but through each one of these three, we have three amps, three amps, and three amps. So we're not sure what the total is, but we have three amps plus three amps plus three amps. So our total current must be nine amps. So we could use, again, we could use, now that we know this is nine amps, we could use V equals IR and find that this is one ohm. Or again, if we didn't find that this was nine amps, just say you didn't see this, we could have gone with adding resistors in parallel. So you have one over R total is one over three plus one over three plus one over three. One over R total is equal to three over three. And you take the inverse of both sides and you find, you find R total is equal to one. So yeah, that agrees. Let's look at a second circuit. This one's a little bit more difficult because we have two resistors have different amounts of resistance. So we're really going to have to apply Ohm's law and our two Kirchhoff's laws to figure out this problem. So right off the bat, if you know two, two variables, you can find the third. So Ohm's law, V is equal to I R voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if you do that calculation, you're going to find that's 20. Now, we look like we're stuck. So let's try to look at our two laws. Remember, the first law has to do with current. And the second law has to do with voltage. So I know something about the voltage here now. So let me see if I can apply that law. So the voltage law says, in a closed loop, the voltage is sum to zero. Meaning, if I'm looking at R3 here, this is the information I have is about R3. I know through R3 I have 20 volts across that resistor. Again, voltage, think to what we did in class of pretzels. So, if you dropped off 20 pretzels here, if you look, that's the only resistor we went through, right? So if I dropped off 20 pretzels, how many must I have picked up at the battery? Well, 20 as well. So from, from the second law, the second law says the sum of the voltage around any closed loop is zero. Well, we can look at that as 20, around my closed loop, all I have is the total voltage and the voltage through, through R3, or across R3. So if this is 20, well, my total voltage also has to be 20. Okay, and now I know my total voltage is 20, I can again apply Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, to find 20 is equal to I times five, so my current must be four amps. Now, if I picked up 20 volts of the battery, through any closed path, I have to drop off 20 volts. Or across any resistor, it needs to be 20 volts as well. So again, this is applying the second law. Look at this, V is equal to IR. You can do the calculation yourself. We find it's two amps. 
And now I'm a little stuck, right? I've got, I can't use Ohm's law right here. I know the voltages. So if I know the voltages, I no longer need to use the second law. So the first law can help me with current. Maybe help me find this value. If you want, you can also, you know everything about the resistor, so we could find the total resistance. So you could do that, find the total resistance in a parallel circuit. Or sometimes it's easier to apply Kirchhoff's law. So the first law says, well, my current is split. My total current coming out of the battery, there's three paths, right? So my total current has to be the current through one, through the current through two, current through three. So I think car, when you think of current, think also cars, right? You have four cars leave the battery. Okay, we know two go through this way, and we know one goes through this way, so how many go through this way? Another way of saying that is four amps coming out of the battery, two amps through the first one, the second one we're not sure yet, and the third one is one amp. So four minus two minus one gives me I2, so I2 is one amp. Now we can again use Ohm's law, V is equal to I times R. What's R gonna be? 20 ohms. So you can always do your checks here. Right? It's parallel, so the voltages have to be equal. Okay, that's right. Two plus one plus one gives me four in a parallel because the current is split. Good, that's right. And if you wanted, you could even ask yourself or figure out does five my total resistance remember how to add resistors in in, uh, in parallel is this true because if it's true then we know this resistor must be correct so that's all when you come across a problem next lesson you're going to be working on compound circuits where it's even more difficult but just Really, if you apply Ohm's law, and then if you're stuck, think of your two laws for current and voltage, um, you'll be able to solve all these problems.